What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, eFitness, a.k.a. Woo, Surflex a lot, and today we're going to talk about rhabdomyolysis. Now, you're probably wondering, why the heck are we talking about this eFitness? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. But before I do, you already know the routine, right? Don't forget to like my video, share my video, and comment below because you know, you already know that it's going to be good. Back to today's topic, rhabdomyolysis. We're just going to call it rhabdo for short in this video. The reason that you should know about it is because I know that if you're watching this video, you're all about making your gains, right? And that makes you more susceptible to actually getting rhabdo. How do I know? It's because I got rhabdo. So I'm not going to talk about something I that I don't know. All right, and since you're more susceptible to rhabdo, you should know how you can get it or what it is at least. So in regards to the definition of rhabdo, it's the breakdown of skeletal muscle into your bloodstream. This skeletal muscle releases something called myoglobin. Myoglobin inhibits your kidneys from functioning properly. And when your kidneys can't function properly, you end up in renal failure. And if you end up in renal failure for too long, guess what? You guys might die. We don't want you to die, right? We don't want you to get rhabdo, so we're going to stop that. So in this video, I'm going to teach you about some of the causes of rhabdo, some of the signs and symptoms of rhabdo, and if you do happen to get it, what to do so that you don't end up dying, okay? But firstly, let me tell you my story about rhabdo. It's a nice summer day. I was on a job about a month in as a firefighter. Got a fire, went out, slayed the dragon, did my thing. But after slaying the dragon, we were doing overhaul. And I noticed that, man, I was feeling real weak. I was feeling tired, a little lethargic. I wasn't thinking properly. My entire body was cramping up. So eventually my boss said, hey, man, you need to go to the hospital and get checked out. So I went to the hospital. I'm thinking I'm just going to be in there for like a couple hours. Maybe I was dehydrated. The doctor came up to me and said, hey, you got rhabdo. You got to stay for observation. I ended up staying in that hospital for 36 hours. The worst 36 hours ever. The food was horrible. The nurse was cute, but the food was horrible. So it kind of balanced out. Anyways, now, some of the causes of rhabdo, we'll start with that, is extreme heat. Being on a fire, that's really hot. So if you're in Florida, that's pretty much the equivalent, extreme heat. Another cause of rhabdomyolysis is electrolyte imbalance. So if you're a person that sweats a lot, you might want to stay hydrated. You should stay hydrated anyways, but especially if you know that you sweat a lot, definitely stay hydrated. Strenuous activity, especially from those that are overexerting themselves. So say, for example, if you took a month off from the gym, don't go back in there trying to lift the house. Take it easy. Ease into it. Or if you're a beginner, don't try to outwork yourself or outwork anyone else, I should say. Stay in your lane. Go at your own pace. Don't overexert your muscles so much that it breaks all of it down and then you end up with rab rhabdo because, trust me, you don't want that. Some of the signs and symptoms of rhabdo, if you are to get rhabdo, you'll notice that the telltale sign is that your urine is going to be Coca-Cola color. It's not going to be dark yellow. It's going to literally look like Coca-Cola. You might experience some nausea and vomiting. You also may experience some fatigue. You'll, you'll have general weakness all over. You might cramp up. You will definitely notice because you just won't feel normal. Mostly you'll have that urine color that's Coca-Cola. You'll have an altered mental status. You might feel localized pain. And you'll also notice decreased urine output. Those are all signs of rhabdo. Now, if you are to get rhabdo, if you suspect yourself of having rhabdo, don't be ashamed. There have been several people that have gotten rhabdo in college, high school, and professional sports. In fact, all pro defensive linemen, Albert Hainsworth, he used to play for the Redskins, he had rhabdo. Dana Lynn Bailey, she's an Olympic champion, she had rhabdo. Several college players, high school players, and even yours truly, eFitness, has gotten rhabdo. So don't be ashamed. If you suspect that you have rhabdo, just go to the hospital because they can actually save your life. If you don't go to the hospital, you could potentially kill yourself. You don't want that. So if you see any of those signs and symptoms, just go to the doctor. Best case scenario, you're just dehydrated. Worst case scenario, you could be messing up your kidneys even worse. And they'll measure this through a urine test or a blood test where they can actually see your CK levels. And that stands for creatine kinase. If it's over 1,000, you have rhabdo. If it gets up to like 20,000 to 50,000, you have really bad rhabdo. So if you go there and, and it gets progressively worse over time, that's why it's important that you go early. What they're going to do is they're going to give you fluid ther therapy intravenously. And they'll do it for as long as it takes for your kidneys to start functioning properly. You don't want to mess up those kidneys. But in essence, I just wanted to give you guys a brief synopsis of rhabdomyolysis, how to tell what it is, and if you were to get it, what to do. So let's just go over a little review. Rhabdomyolysis is the breakdown of skeletal muscle into the body that inhibits your kidneys from functioning properly. Uh, some of the causes of rhabdo include extreme heat, electrolyte imbalance, dehydration, 
Some of the symptoms include that dark color urine that we discussed, nausea, vomiting, altered mental status, a feeling of weakness and localized pain. And if you do suspect that you have rhabdo, just go to the doctor. I know that bill, you might not want it, but you definitely want your life more. But anyways, as you can see, it's about to rain out here. I was enjoying the great outdoors. I just wanted to make a quick video while I was out here. But before I go, you already know the routine. Don't forget to like my video, share my video, and comment below. It's your boy E-Fitness. I'm out. <laughs>